Hey y'all, in this video we're going to go over the first part of reptile notes. So reptiles are in the kingdom Animalia, the phylum Chordata, and the class Reptilia. For the orders, there's Testudines, which are turtles, Squamata, which are snakes and lizards, and then there's some suborders within that um, of lizards, legless lizards, and uh, serpents as snakes. Um, and then Crocodilia, which is um, crocodiles and alligators. For some characteristics of all reptiles, the first, for body heat, they are ectothermic, meaning they don't maintain their own internal body temperature. They, um, their body is covered with epidermal scales, which they may shed um, their skin, which is called ectiasis, just like what we went over with insects. For limbs, they come in pairs. They usually are going to have five toes, and these are going to be absent in snakes as well as some lizards. Um, not the toes, the whole leg. Um, for respiration, they will have lungs, no gills. They have a cloaca that is used for respiration by some animal, for some reptiles. Um, for heart, there will be some with, most will have three chambers. For crocodiles, they will have a four-chambered heart. For reproduction, they will have separate sexes and fertilization will occur internally. And then their eggs are going to be covered with a hard or leathery shell and they have no aquatic larval stage like amphibians do. So some evolutionary adaptations um, that they're able to live on land thanks to the amniotic egg. An amniotic egg is an extracellular embryonic membrane um, to protect the embryo from desiccation or drying out. It cushions the embryo, embryo it promotes gas transfer, it stores waste materials. Um, the leathery or hard shells help protect it. They have alb albulum for a cushion, moisture and nutrients, and then the yolk will supply the food. Right. Um, so just the egg as well as impermeous skin, they'll have nails um, that help them use for digging and locomotion. Um, they have water conserving kidneys and large lungs, and they do not have that lateral line system that fish do. And these are all things that help them adapt to life on land. Right. For um, since they are ectothermic, they do have to bask in the sun um, or be exposed to sunlight and help to um, maintain their body temperature or thermoregulation. Um, so this helps increase their body temperature. Um, if they don't do this, the enzymes in their stomach do not work if the body temperatures are too low. And if those enzymes don't work, then the food in their stomach is going to rot, um, which, you know, it's gross. So the second thing um, that is a reason for them to bask in the sun is for vitamin D regulation. Just like humans um, and most other vertebrates, they need vitamin D um, and they can either get it by absorbing it from food or they can produce it in their skin. Um, in order to produce vitamin D, the skin has to be exposed to UV radiation. So. All right, moving on to the order testudines or turtles. Um, a turtle shell is unique because our turtles are unique because they're enclosed in a shell. Um, the shell is in two parts, the carapace, which is the dorsal shell, and the plastron, which is the ventral shell. And then um, the bridges are what join those two pieces together. All right. The carapace or the dorsal shell, um, it's composed of hard bone plates, and then those are covered in scutes, which are modified scales. Um, they cover the bone plates to add strength to the shell, and they're made of keratin. So the carapace is the upper shell, and you can see here, um, what you see on the outside when you're looking at the shell is those scutes. Right. Um, the plastron is the ventral shell, or the bottom half of the shell. In males, they'll have a concave plastron, which makes it easier for them to place themselves on top of the mate for copulation. And then for females, they're going to have a convex plastron to help make room for eggs inside the body. So if you ever come across a turtle and you want to know the difference, that's one way to tell, right? Um, their spines and ribs are fused to their shell, so turtles cannot leave their shell like you see in cartoons and um, movies and stuff. Um, so it's all one thing. They cannot come out of it. Right? Land and water turtles are able to tuck their head and their legs into their shells, but sea turtles cannot do this. Right? Um, there are soft shell turtles, um, which have a flat carapace and they lack scutes and they have a soft, smooth skin covering to them. So there's some pictures of them. They're quite weird looking. Um, then there's leatherback sea turtles, turtles, which will have seven distinct ridges, and they lack scutes as well. 
Um, for turtle feet, um, within the three categories of turtles of water turtles, which are generally um, freshwater turtles, have long claws and webbed feet. Land turtles are going to have shorter but long, um, but still have long claws. Um, and the marine turtles or sea turtles are going to have flippers with limited claws to them. So the foot, the type of feet they have can also tell you um, what kind of environment they're going to live in. Um, for some anatomy of their head, their mouth is going to lack teeth, but they do have strong jaws with a sh um, sharp edged beaks to them. Their ears, um, they do not have external ears, but they can hear, which is not very well. Um, they generally feel for vibrations. Their nose, um, there's a lot of varieties and a lot of water turtles are going to have extended nose like you see in this picture here. For their head, or sorry, for their neck, they're going to vary greatly in length from being short necks to long necks. And you can see some of the variety here in these pictures. Right. Um, some interesting breathing practices that turtles have. Some species will have large collacal cavities that are lined with many finger-like projections. Um, these projections are called papillae, which have a rich blood supply and increase the surface area of the cloaca. And then turtles can take up dissolved oxygen from the water using these papillae um, the same way that fish shields use gills to respire. So essentially they are breathing through their cloaca. Right. Right. Um, for what they eat, it depends on the species of turtle. Most are going to either be carnivores or herbivores. Um, usually water turtles are going to be carnivores and herbivores are going to be tortoises slash land turtles. Um, people will also eat turtles. The flesh of turtles is considered a delicacy in a number of cultures. There's um, turtle soup that has been a prized dish in Anglo-American cuisine and still remains in some parts of Asia. And there's gopher, gopher tortoise stew, which was popular with some groups in Florida because, you know, Florida's full of weirdos. Um, so for turtles are also used in cosmetics. Um, the fat from turtles is also used in the Caribbean and in Mexico as the main ingredient in cosmetics marketed under its Spanish name crema de tortuga. I think is how you pronounce that. And then sex determination. Um, turtles will have, as well as other reptiles, have environmental sex determination where the temperatures of the eggs experience, um, experience determines the sex of the organisms that hatch. For turtles, cooler temperatures produce males and warmer temperatures produce females. In lizards and crocodiles, this pattern is reversed. Right? So um, depends on what temperature the eggs are kept at, depends on what the sex of the baby will be. But anyway, that is it for the first part of Reptile Notes.